Hello dear students, I am Shu Kumar Asaladde, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacology, Shulingeshwar College of Pharmacy, Almala. Today we learn regarding biopsy of serotonin or also known as 5-HT or 5-hydroxytryptamines. It is also known as happiness drug because our mood or emotions or behavior is mainly regulated by 5-HT. So, that is why it is known as a happiness drug. Regarding introduction, serotonin is a neurochemical produced by a neuron cells acts on the serotonin receptors or 5-HT receptors. Serotonin play important role in the regulation of GIT function. 75 functions of the GIT regarding secretions and motility or movement of GIT. So, that can regulated alone by 5-HT. So, serotonin is mainly found in the central nervous systems where it acts as the neurotransmitters helpful for to communicate the neurons each other and in CNS serotonins play important role in the mood stabilizations or to regulate the emotional behavior and serotonin is also present in the platelets where it is play important role in the regulations of the blood coagulation by causing constrictions of the blood vessels. Regarding principle, the potency of serotonin that is 5-HT is determined by comparing its activity with that of with the standard preparations of serotonin 5-HT under the conditions of a suitable method of assay. So, here animals used in a bioassay of serotonin is female rat weighing 120 to 200 gram and standard drug preparation is 5 HT solution is 10 microgram per ml. Regarding physiological salt solution, so this bioassay of oxytocin was conducted by using d jalon solution. The composition of d jalon solution is sodium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, disodium hydrogen phosphate, sodium dihydrogen phosphate, magnesium chloride and dextrose. So, dextrose here it is a source of ATP, sodium it is re regulate the depolarization, potassium chloride helpful for relaxation and calcium chloride is helpful for to cause the contraction and conduction of the impulses. Then sodium bicarbonate, disodium hydrogen phosphate, sodium dihydrogen phosphate, magnesium chloride, they are acts as a buffering agents to adjust the pH that was similar to the blood. So, due to when part of animal we are keeping in physiological salt solution. So, that should be allowed that is helpful for to conduct the smooth experiments. So, here the biopsy of serotonin was conducted by using physiological salt solution is d jalon solution and animal is a female rat or simple you are using here uterus. So, procedure first before start of the practicals one day period you can check the oyster cycles where present or not in the female rat. If the female rats are not having menstrual cycle or oyster cycle then with the help of the ethyl silvestrol in coconut oil it can inject it to the female rats. So, next day once again you go for the testing of vaginal semear where the fibrin threads are found mean it indicates. So, 
so that animal is having the menstrual cycle then the rats are sacrificed and expose the rat uterus and isolate it and it can tie one end of the thread of that can tie with the uterus is attached with the oxygen tube or tissue holder it is connected with the aerator so that aerator supply the 95 percent of oxygen and 5 percent of carbon dioxide and another end that is also tie with the thread so that thread is tie with the writing lever so this is the writing lever it can record the responses on the drum so after isolations so the tissue was kept in a tissue holder it consists of d jalon solution and the temperature is 37 degree plus or minus 1 degree centigrade so first you can wash the tissue for 45 minutes because so whatever the debris so they are present in the tissues that can easily wash it so after washing period first we record the drc of standard then after that we can record the drc of test then calculate the unknown concentration by any suitable method by using matching biosay interpolation biosay three point biosay or four point biosay but here in the biosay of oxytocin here i will explain regarding three point biosay so dear students first record the drc of standard that is first 30 second is the baseline then 30 second is the response time and that is a total time cycle is 5 minute that is 30 second baseline the recording of response without any drug is known as a baseline then after that put 0.1 ml of standard drug our standard drug is 10 microgram per ml so from here you can add 0.1 then later on after recording response for 30 seconds then stop the drum and wash the tissue automatically the liver is comes down for three minutes so that's why the total time cycle is a five minute so after five minutes once again you can record the baseline then after that you record the response with point two then wash then baseline then four then point 0.4 then point 0.8 this is drc of standard then after that you record the drc of test or any 3 or 4 point that is response with point 0.1 then point two then then point four then point eight that is point one point two point four point eight this is the drc of test then as per rules of three point essay you select two point from 
standard DRC that is S1 and S2 and one point from test that is T. Okay. The point should be such way that S2 by S1 that is 0.4 divided by 0.2 is always 2 and regarding and regarding t the response of t or the height of t that should be between s1 and s2 that is its height should be height between s1 and height between s2 so after that according to latin square once again you can repeat the graph that is latin square is first you record the response of s1 that is record the response with 0.2 then record the response of s2 that is 0.4 then record the response of t that is by use the test solution 0.2 then later on second you can start with the high dose of standard s2 then t s1 so then third that is start with the t s1 s2 so like that further you can record the nine responses and after that you can calculate the Average of S1, average of S2, and average of T. Then after got the average response of S1, that is first time, second time, third time, its average you calculate, total divided by 3. Then average of S2, that is first time, second time, third time, then average, then T, the first time, second time, total divided third time, total divided by 3. So you can got the average response of S1, S2, and T then use the formula that is unknown concentration is equal to that is n1 by t into log t minus s1 divided by s2 minus s1 into log sorry this is the anti log ok you can check then n2 by n1 then into standard concentration you can put the n1 is dose in ml of standard s1 T is dose in ml of T, then N2 means dose in ml of standard S2. Then capital T, average response of test, capital S1, average response of small dose of standard, and S2 is average response of high dose of standard. And CS is the standard concentration, here standard concentration is 10 microgram per ml. So, like that, use the this formula and you can calculate the unknown concentration. So, that is helpful for how much of serotonin it can present in the test preparations or new preparation. So, that is helpful for the formulations of the new drug. Thank you, yes.